Should have did a video on that one. Anyway, um, we pulled the Mustang out. We needed to clean the back of this. Um, this is where we're at. Um, you know, I mean, stuff's old. I did, where this was stored, some mice did get in here. So some of this was from that. Um, you know, but it's just kind of normal to see that. Everything is really nice. Um, down in the bottom of the quarter panels, up and around, there's no rust or rot or anything anywhere else up in here everything's pretty clean basically i came in here and i washed all of this out along with this tray here we got a couple spots here on these welds here where we got to clean up you know on the seal but all that stuff it's just scuff clean and, and spray so we did the whole back panel um i did up and underneath here across this because this will all get painted um, along with the inside and the quarter panels and everything so whew, I still got to line this trunk a little bit but I have some pictures of what this stuff looked like before um, we started cleaning this um, I did they said I had to remove all these moldings. Um, they needed washed up. So we got these things here. They're nice and clean. They need sanded and prepped. As you can tell, we have everything right here. Um, baking out in the sun here for a couple days. I laid this primer on really, really thick. You can see right here, just to try to fill that in a little bit. And across here, which once I sand this out, I don't know, I might prime it again. I'll spot putty that stuff and maybe, maybe just scuff it in and it'll be good to paint this here i laid pretty heavy you can see up along this edge hopefully there's still some in there that needs filled with some primer um we got some of the stuff that we removed but these were the new parts um you could really see where these moldings were on this side since i laid the sanded and laid the primer on pretty thick they seem to cover out pretty pretty good so they need sanded and and they're pretty much basically they'll get blocked out um, scuffed and they can get painted base color uh, right there um, these bumpers you know we just got to see what this looks like once we get it sanded out like I said I might have to hit it with primer and let it sit in the Sun again um, kind of go from there uh, these will probably be ready to sand this weekend in a day or two but we got everything ready we're hoping to be able to get to the point of um, getting the roof sanded uh, the back panels and probably prime that get everything straightened out inside the trunk area cleaned up and maybe even spray that when we spray the back bumper because if we do the inside and the outside on the back in color after everything's primed I'll have to tape it off but um, I could still you know run a soft edge I'm behind the tail light and I can put my back bumper reinforcement on all that stuff can get up and out of the way um, I'm really limited as far as room as uh, we've seen this before I did make some room here I still got to do something with these seats um, we still have all these Mustang parts um, I mean that motor there definitely needs to get put together to go in my other car and we can get everything pushed out of the way and we'll have room to set the engine and the trans out of the Mustang here all right so we got kind of motivated yesterday and uh started working on getting everything sanded here across the roof um down across the top of our quarter panels and down through all the way i got to remove some of this stuff here yet but everything seems to be sanding out all right feels pretty good you can t i can tell there's a little bit here i'll we'll have to skim coat that and right there that'll need skim coated and blocked um we washed out our entire trunk um we got everything kind of ground down we're gonna put the uh rust inhibitor stuff that i have down in here because that's just it's just what i have i got this stuff wire brushed i ground on it for quite some time i'll probably hit it a little bit more just to be sure before i do anything um and then i'll probably I don't know, 
maybe I'll just dust it with some white paint. I've got it sand in around here. I mean, it's kind of cool. You can still see my uh, quarter panel tags are still kind of here. Um, like I said, this thing has the original doors. The fitment of this is just terrible. Um, this thing was not damaged in any way. Um, and this is, like I said, this is an older one. So this was probably bought in 01. Um, just trying to get this thing to fit up. I've got these holes here ground out pretty darn far on both sides. And just fitment is terrible. Like it feels like it wants to. It's a little better. Um, like just. Somehow I got to get this thing to come over this way. Kind of terrible. I almost wish I had my original deck lid to put on here. Um, but that was sold a long time ago. Uh, I got to do a little bit here with this. I'm probably going to completely remove the bolts and everything for this. This side did come out pretty good. Up across and over. Everything looks really decent. Um, I did notice I was having some spots up in here. This is where I guess they seamed the a quarter right there a uh, little messy um, I really wish I, I could get these windows out because then I could sand in around um, which for now I'm just trying to get a lot of this stuff in primer um, so that this is really weird but that's just how it is everything down through um, basically we're getting this thing a good scuff, uh, and then I'm going to get everything sanded in as best as I can. Um, and we're going to get a good coat of primer on this entire back half. What can you accomplish when you spend a lot of time using this tool, this tool, this tool, that wire brush, that, oh my goodness, this sander, this sander, that sander, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, I did take some pictures. Um, I was trying to do this at night. You can tell it's, it's primer. It's got dust. But we did tape everything off. Um, I mean, everything seemed like it sanded out all right. There's like one spot here I can see. Let's see if we can see it. There was a small, small dent right there. I can see it. It's right here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. Try to get it. But it's right there. There's a small dent. Um, the inside, um, I coated it with that rust stuff. Um, man, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what to do with this. Um, I might pull the wiring harness back up and dust this with white paint in the trunk and then it's back to being white um it'll be nicer than what it was coming from factory which will be cool too um all this here has to come out because we got all new gas tank new filler neck all everything there is all good um i just kind of spotted this stuff in because when this gets sanded it's just going to get um it'll just all get painted we pulled this out. I just stuck a piece of cardboard in behind. This side here actually looks pretty good. A little bit right through here. Hopefully comes out with some sanding. Um, you know, it's kind of tough when you're on this stuff. A little weird there on that. That hopefully when I block everything out, a lot of this goes away. Because you can see that we were working with a bunch of different stuff. Um, this is the original paint right here and this is the uh secondary coat and you can see there was some primer underneath and then we had the clear coat because this car was painted one time um everything's kind of original uh the core support was replaced that is just a total mess we're going to worry about that when we get this motor out but um the plan was if we can get 
this stuff back here taken care of it's in primer um, we can pull these doors off and work on a door at a time and get them done um, what would be really nice here it, it would be to get the engine out then get everything taken care of here and spray everything under here uh, which would be the core support the firewall uh, the cow panel and in through here and cut this off like in here because we still all have all this here we got to clean up um, and then all of this uh, get the windows out the doors out but anyway get all this uh, on the back half block sand it out and ready for paint and then we'll paint this part here and I mean when you panel paint there's probably going to be some variations um, so what I'll do is I'll try to mix up enough paint when I spray this that I'll have enough already pre-mixed and reduced that I can paint this it is a lot easier when it's a simple color as far as like white I mean panel painting white should not be that bad um, like I said I'll see very you'll see variations but it's not going to be as bad so maybe I can paint the doors and the fenders at the same time so they're not so bad but we'll get this whole back section here done and then I'll probably do both bumpers at the same time um, and then I'll do like the hood fenders and the doors maybe it just when you don't really have a, a set place to paint it does kind of make it a lot harder than what it needs to be hey look at this um so i got everything kind of like sanded ground like cleaned up some of the stuff straightened out some of this um we still got plenty of work here to do on the inside i just wanted to get some of this taken care of here on the outside we still have the core support to take care of on the bottom it needs straightened out some um we got this side over here kind of cleared up um there is gonna i'm gonna be going back and doing fixing some of this welds um along with along with this down through here and some of the other stuff um this side here um didn't look like it had the apron put on the bottom but uh once the motor's out i'll be able to get in here and i'll, I'll i'm gonna have a lot of hours in here cleaning this uh cleaning this up but um this is as far as we're going to be going with this um everything is like i said primed up we got the roof um the quarter panels were all sanded out uh the rear back pan sanded out we did uh clean up inside the trunk we got our trunk lid lined up a little bit better played with that some so um unfortunately um we have some other work that we have to take care of so we're getting ready to actually get this out we're gonna stick the hood on um we got a little surprise here we got to unveil this right here so we're actually installing this right here as a stage three trans um going in a neon uh next and uh We've got a couple more neon videos uh coming if any of you neon guys actually watch some of these mustang videos um thanks um you know there's one thing a neon can't do and that is a donut and a mustang can do that so this might not technically be as fast as a neon right now but it's a lot more fun in first and second gear as comparison to third and fourth in the neon but sooner or later this might have some boost again um and that's the plan um you know there's a bunch of stuff still available for these cars and the value of them is going up so as long as i've had this thing i think it's time to get it fixed and with that being said we're taking a break from the mustang and we're going to be getting some neon stuff i got a couple here we got to save this week we'll see what happens